No one likes to be tied up in traffic, right? There are long lines, restless drivers, and all that honking. Ugh, I hate the honking. Access control lists, or ACL, can do a lot of tasks, but one of the most important is controlling the flow of traffic. ACLs allow network administrators to identify patterns for ingress traffic. In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll discuss the best practices for configuring access control list in Cisco business hardware. Next. For this case, we're using a Cisco Business 350 series switch. Once we log in, we need to navigate to the access control menu and select Mac-based ACL. We already have an ACL named Mac ACL configured. We need to create the access list before applying it to an interface because an interface with an empty access list permits all traffic. To add the ACL, we can click this Add button, choose the name, and then click Apply. After that, we can add the expression under Mac-based ACE. We can choose different ACLs from this drop-down menu, and we can also choose our limits for the Access Control Element, or ACE. We can also configure our IPv4 access control list. If we go to the IPv4 ACE, we'll see that our IPv4 ACL is populated. We can see that access control expressions are added to that particular ACL. If we avoid discarding all the packets that do not match the condition in our ACL, then we must explicitly add a lowest priority ACE into the access list that permits all traffic. In this case, we can see that priority eight has permitted any IP for any source and any destination. To add any ACE, we can click on the Add button. Here we can provide the priority and its action, enable the logging, and select the protocol. After that's finished, we can click Apply. If IGMP or MLD snooping is enabled on the port bound within the ACL, we need to add ACE filters in an ACL to forward those packets to the device. Otherwise, IGMP or MLD snooping will fail at that port. IGMP is used for the IPv4 option and MLD for the IPv6 option. We can see that there is a priority of four to configure to permit the IGMP traffic to any source. To associate more than one ACL with a port, a policy with one or more class map must be used. In this case, we need to go to class mapping under the QoS advanced mode. First, we'll create the class by clicking on the Add button. Here, we can name the map, choose its ACL type, specify the IP and MAC ACL, and pick the preferred ACL. Once that's finished, we can click Apply to save the configuration. For this example, we created a class map named class map 1 and have applied the IPv4 ACL and the MAC ACL. If we check under the policy table, we can see the policy and add any if need be. To see the policy details, we can go to Policy Class Maps. On the policy binding menu, we can see the policy is binded to the port. So, if we want to apply one or more ACL on a single port, we can use the class map option. Once we configure the access list, then we need to bind that access list to a port or VLAN. So while we are binding the access list, it's recommended to apply the access list as early as possible in sequence toward the source interface. Here, we can see one access list is applied on the GE2 interface. Although all the access lists end with an implicit deny statement it's recommended to use an explicit deny statement. Those are some best practices we can follow when configuring ACL in Cisco Business Hardware. Thanks for watching this edition of Tech Talks. We'll see you next time.